How's it going guys? Today I have a product and service review for you. I was looking around for a map that I could frame and hang up on the wall, specifically documenting one of my favorite places to visit, Japan. I came across the website Graphomap. It's a service where you can pick a place in the world and have them print it out for you. At first glance, the website is slick and the maps look detailed and sharp. The map data they use is actually open source map data that anyone can access. And with the right technical ability, you could make your own map and get it printed, but we won't get into how to do that in this video. So the reason why I'm creating this video is I could not find any review videos for this service. So seeing a gap, I figured why not create a video about my experience with this service and the map that I purchased. There are a lot of reviews on trustpilot.com with mostly good reviews, but there are a few bad reviews with varying degrees of negative experiences. I just find it odd. I couldn't find any YouTube reviews on this service since they have been in business for about, I think like three years or so. Okay, so I'll talk a bit about my experience from the time I ordered to the time I received the print. Here's the print that I ordered. I got a map of Tokyo and had it framed by Graphomap as well. So to use this service is fairly straightforward. Just enter in the location you want and zoom to the appropriate level of detail. So you can zoom all the way into street level like I have here or all the way out to a whole country or continent. But you can also stylize their maps using their built-in styles. Now I picked a classic looking style just to kind of give it some color. And for the materials, you can pick from a few different types. You can have the map printed like, uh, uh, like a poster, have a hanger style, frame it, have it printed on canvas, and like even on metal. So I chose to just have it printed and framed in a black frame with plexiglass, keeping with like a very classic look. You can also change the name and you can add some markers and locations, but I didn't add any myself, but the option is there. So after picking all the options, I simply ordered it by entering my address and credit card information. But I also did a quick search in Google and found a coupon code and was able to get 20% off my order too. So be sure to search around for a coupon code. Shipping was free to me in Canada. Not sure if it's like that for all countries, but I believe the print was sent to me from the States. I got it shipped to me by UPS and the postal service was also an option. The total cost was 104 US dollars, but with the discount, it came to 83 US dollars. Also, this video is not sponsored. I paid for this print and service out of my own pocket. So it took just over a week for me to receive the print. Um, not bad, but I have seen in some reviews that people are having issues with the shipping times. So your mileage may vary. The print came packaged well with a box that provided ample protection and it was wrapped with plastic around uh, a piece of cardboard. So let's talk about the print itself and the frame. The print itself is of decent quality with a good level of detail. The white space has some printing artifacts on it though, or tiny smudges. You can't really see them when it's hanging, but it is noticeable when looking closely at it. Overall, I would give the print itself a seven out of 10. It's pretty good with sharp lines, but the smudges and artifacts, you know, are disappointing. The frame itself, now that's a different story. It's an overpriced plastic frame that you would find at like Michael's, you know, in their stock section that you would only ever purchase if you had a coupon that you can download from their website. Now, having said that, it's not built terribly, it's plastic, but at least there's no bad miter joints. And when it's hanging on the wall, it looks fine. Now again, for the plexiglass, it's okay. And it's less plexiglass and more like a piece of thin, you know, plastic or acetate. Not sure how much dust will cling to it, but it's not gonna be as good as a piece of real glass, obviously. But overall, it's not bad. And on the positive side, you know, it's not very heavy. But, you know, I might actually swap it out for a piece of real glass eventually. However, where the frame really fails is there's no spot to hang the frame up on the wall. There's nothing. No cutout at the top here for even a screw to sit on it. It was annoying and unacceptable that I had to add my own piece of wire by drilling holes in the plastic and adding a steel wire. Now for me, it's not an issue since I have the tools to do that, but I could see not everyone has that option or ability. So for the frame, I would give it a four out of 10. 
If there was a place to hang the frame, then I would upgrade it to a seven, but it's an automatic fail since there's no place to hang the frame. So in summary, the bottom line, do I think Grapho map is worth it? And to be honest, even with the issues, I do think it's worth it as long as you go in knowing that it might not be perfect. There are other services that are similar to Grapho map, so they might be worth checking out too. But in the end, it cost me 83 US dollars and I have something that for the price, it's not bad at all. And it does look really nice hanging up on the wall. Like for me to create something like this from scratch would take a bit of work and I don't feel like spending, you know, that much time on a project like this. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Give this video a thumbs up so other people can find it too. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.